What has happened in the Pokemon community? Let's talk. Welcome back to the Poke Bros. My name's Tim. My name's John. And together we are the Poke Bros. And today we thought we'd do a bit of a strip back video. Uh, we open cards quite a lot on this channel, but today we want to talk about uh, the Pokemon community. It's a very different place to it was um, when we joined it, but also it's a very different place to where it was just five months ago. And uh, well, we're talking from a bit of a UK point of view right now. We know there's different things happening in America with um, products and stuff like that, but we just want to talk about the Pokemon community as a whole and really uh, our feelings on it a bit. Um, but Tim, where do we start? Well, I suppose a good starting point is we've almost been on YouTube for a year now. So yeah. this Saturday will be one year since we uh, joined YouTube, since we set up this channel, since we started growing this awesome uh, Pokey Bro community. Uh, and we're so grateful to all of our viewers and all of you for watching. But I suppose just maybe a little bit of a rundown over the last year, like what we've seen, what yeah. has happened. Obviously, there was the massive spike in the market, wasn't well, there? Spike in interest. Like when, when I started really collecting Pokemon, I'd, I'd say properly again. It was right at the start of lockdown. Um, I'd been interested for quite a bit of time before that, but when I, with lockdown, we finally got time to invest more in this hobby and um, I loved it and I, around April time was the first actual we started to see a real spike in Pokemon prices mostly due to lockdown mostly due, due to people just like us wanting to collect and to have that nostalgia again and we entered into a community really which was absolutely amazing um, so helpful we had so many um, YouTube friends that they were just so helpful with us to start off with, with Tim. Um, we, we loved joining the Pokemon community. I mean, I don't think we really knew what was coming because we set up the channel, we set up our social medias quite quickly, but not knowing anyone else at all. When we set up Poke Bros, when we set up the Twitter channel, I suppose Twitter has been our biggest interaction with the Pokemon yeah. community. When we set that up, we didn't know anyone, um, but we were sort of just welcomed in with arms wide open, which is awesome. Should we do a few shout outs to a few channels here? Maybe Dom we'll get Dom to put them up on the screen. Um... <laughs> no way! No way! We've got a more Peco V Max, which is so cool. The art's really good. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> So I am put Come on! Yes! Come on! And oh what's the back? It what's the me. back? And Misty's determination reverse! Ah! <laughs> oh my god! But a baby shiny Inteleon into Oh Gosh! Gosh! Inteleon Baby Shiny into a Piz. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on. Oh. <laughs> the trios are selfies. This is the best pull out in the set. Yeah. Um, but some shout outs. Go check out these channels as well. They're really helpful to us right at the beginning. Uh, we want this video, even though we're going to be talking about the Pokemon community, hopefully very positively, maybe a few parts where um, uh, we're going to try not to be negative, but there might be a few negative parts. So we just want to shout out some positivity to our These channels are still running today, really helpful at the start of our journey. Uh, I want to give lots of shout outs to a lot of people in the Pokemon community today. Yeah, um, we, we loved it. Uh, we had loads of mm. great relationships. There was Obviously it was a vibing community because everyone was off work. Yeah. <laughs> or, you know, everyone was sitting at home, but there was, there was this great feel of the most welcoming community in the world. And I actually remember, it's funny, like way back at the start, I remember people complaining about different communities. I'm not a big fan of all this, but like, you know, like saying, oh, I think it's like the Pokemon anime community, like could be so negative or this, that, the other. And I was thinking, man, the Pokemon trading card game community is awesome. <laughs> like there could be no complaints at all. Cause it was just, there was so much love. There was so much kind of encouragement and uh, really wanting the best for everyone who was involved and just loving seeing more and more people get involved, which we absolutely loved. I loved the, the spirit of like everyone sort of comment on each other's videos and kind of yeah. going and hanging out and, and supporting each other and all those pack battles and different things that used to happen between channels. So good. We've got loads of um, our channel at the beginning. We, we've got a whole playlist of pack battles. Yeah. And obviously, 
Pokemon was just it's so exciting wasn't it there was so much exciting stuff happening I think because of how exciting it was loads of people new, new people coming in a really positive move for Pokemon as well we saw I like personally uh, I, I love being part of this community but even people who were coming in uh, this is very controversial point some people coming in for money some people coming in to collect some people coming in because they love Pokemon and um, I don't see a problem with any of that I think there's space for everybody uh, obviously I don't like it when people rip people off with, with stuff but <laughs> don't like anyone conning people no, but it's I, never a but good some thing. people coming in collecting stuff they know maybe it'll be valuable in a few years I, I, I didn't mind that and I love that and that was a positivity of every single type of collector if you know what I mean mm. and uh, that was really nice it was great to see and it was great to like the fact that everyone was accepted I, I feel, still think mostly everyone still is accepted yeah. um, but obviously it, things have changed uh, the market has changed you know at one point we bought a jungle booster box for five thousand pounds and two weeks later it was worth about twelve thousand pounds yep. uh, obviously the rocket of value that captured so much attention logan paul and the likes had to end eventually yep. some people get to say i don't think it's ever going to stop but I, I mean it had to with, ed, with any sort of thing which has finance or a market cap it does stop people can't always funnel money and you'll see that with stocks you'll see it with um, cryptocurrencies you'll see it with collectible sports cards Pokemon cards the housing market housing market yeah. there's always ups and there's down um, so the down yeah. was always going to come um, and obviously with everyone returning back to work and with life getting a little bit more normal don't know where you are in the world and how normal life is for you right now but certainly in the UK yeah. there's talk within the next week of everything being back to normal you know like kind of all restrictions gone um, so it's bound to kind of come down a little bit but I suppose that um we have loved this last year and we don't want it to stop we don't yeah. want that sort of sense of excitement around pokemon to stop we don't want the community that is the pokemon community to kind of die down we don't want it to get filled with negativity obviously there's been so many spats quite public spats between different people on yeah. on social media and and kind of mudslinging and things like that and we, we aren't about that are we we try not to get you, you might notice on our channel <laughs> on our, yeah socials we try not to get involved on any beef even when we think there might be some right on one side some right on the other side um, we, we try to stay out of that stuff just because I don't know we just we just don't like we like the positivity we don't really like the negativity that can be surrounding stuff like that Yeah. and I think if, you, if you're not really hurting anybody uh, obviously, if there's people hurting each other, that might be a different thing. But we're not really hurting anybody. It's people's difference of opinions. We try to stay out of it. Just we all, we want to to positive, like real breaking Nate says, uh, positive, positive vibes. We're, um, we're, we're big believers of that on our channel, yeah. and hopefully those of you view our channel often are well aware of that. Yeah, and I guess really we just don't want the experience that we had to be different for anyone now coming into the community because yeah. we just felt so accepted straight off the bat. Felt like such a positive place right away. We want to help spread more of that positivity don't we yeah and one video what we want to do is just share other content creators videos as well a lot of content creators put so much effort into these videos and and sadly so, sometimes they don't get as much recognition as they deserve um we know that we don't really do this for the views but one of the worst things for a youtube channel um is if we get a photo up just put it up now so we get a 10 out of 10 video which means it's the 10th lowest views at the last 10 videos it can be so demoralizing for us it's quite easy uh, not easy, it's easier because if Tim gets demoralised, I encourage him. If I get demoralised, he encourages me. And if we both get demoralised, our editor Dummy encourages us. Um, but we just want to bring some positivity into um, this whole community, especially those maybe who are feeling down about it right now. Obviously, the hype is dying down, but we just want to bring some positivity in. And one example of that, actually, we want to spread some, um, spread some awareness, some videos, which may not, we think, haven't got as much recognition as it deserves. We're going to be doing this more on Twitter all the time, and you don't want to talk about it again in a minute. But one video which we really liked together was Ike's video. Uh, he went out in public, and he was he was I mean he was very brave, but also would have put, had a lot of work put into it, and money as well for his packs is given away. Yeah. But yeah, go check that out. Dom is just going to put it here on the video. Well, that's a really good video. So um, we just want to do that more and more. Yeah. And we we hopefully you'll be seeing from us more and more. We're going to be watching more videos from the Pokemon community. We're going to be commenting on more videos yeah. in the Pokemon community. We're going to be supporting and promoting uh, people more. We're going to be retweeting people more. We're going to be uh, shouting about different channels more just because we want to make sure that 
uh, the, the experience for everyone is as positive as what we had. Yeah. We want to be able to push other people up and higher, potentially even more than we promote ourselves, we want to be promoting others um, and spreading some of that positivity, which we think is so key um, and so different about the Pokemon community. But we don't want to be the only ones doing that. We want to encourage you as well um, to, to, to share the word about other Poketubers, to, to promote others' videos, to retweet. If someone posts a video, retweet it. If someone um, works hard on something, let's share it. Let's help it to spread further because we want to help people to have that same positivity that we had from so many people when we first joined as well. And I think we, we, we're not a big channel. Um, we, just no. wanna, we just want to <laughs> play our part in this and try and, and try and bring some positivity and some encouragement to content creators um, because there's such good channels out there. We watch them. We watch these channels. We're like, these are so good. These channels need more uh, recognition. Um, we just want to bring that positivity out there. Not just channels for YouTube channels, Twitch channels. There's some great Instagram accounts, some great um, Twitter accounts as well, which do that. Yeah. So we just want to we just want to continue this and play our part in it. And I think it can make such a difference. Like we pick up on doing this. Sometimes you watch a video and you think, wow, that's so amazing. But you don't actually just comment and say, this was so good, guys. You know, we love this or whatever. Just because you've just watched it, you think that's amazing. But we're going to be really conscious trying to make the effort to, to let people know when, when we think something's incredible that they've done or when we love a video or when we love something that's happened. We're going to be commenting more. So maybe you're also a passive viewer. You just watch things occasionally. Why not occasionally drop a comment on someone's video and just say, love this, this is so good. Why not retweet it and quote retweet it and say what you love about it. Mm. All things like that all help to spread that positivity which we so love about the Pokemon community. Yeah. So I don't really think there's much else for us to say, John. And we should probably topic. mention that this Saturday we do have a box break happening. Team Rocket box break. Um, packs be open on uh, the box break have sold out. Oh, not sold out. We've, we've stopped selling them now. <laughs> <laughs> we wish they'd sold out. <laughs> but we have got some packs available which you can buy sealed. It's a tiny bit more expensive than we were selling for because you get the guaranteed sealed unweighed pack. We get a tamper proof seal and all of that on the actual live stream. Um, we've still got some of them available at the link below. Um, go check that out. But we're really excited. We've got so many packs we're going to be opening on the Saturday yep. live stream. It's going to be amazing. I'm giving two away. Yeah. So one pack to a member, one pack to a viewer who's a subscriber. Yeah. Who's done all those things. It's going to be so great. All of those giveaways are down below and how you can enter them. But please join us because it is our one year anniversary on Saturday. So it's a big day for us. We're so excited. But until then, my name's Tim. My name's John. And together we are the Pokey Bros. See you next time.